back in the news tonight, World Food Day statistics have revealed that the Caribbean imports over four million, that should be four billion dollars worth of goods, uh, worth of food, and has a property population of over nine million. According to Chief Agricultural Officer Ruben Robertson, the statistics show that the region is in dire need of new strategies to deal with its food issues. We are pretty much concerned, like all the other leaders in the region, that our hemisphere, that is the Caribbean, including Haiti, currently has a poverty population or people living in poverty to the tune of 9.5 million. When we remove Haiti, we have 1.62 million persons living in poverty. That is people who are going to bed every day without having a proper meal. And these are the issues that we want to address with the governments in the region. Meanwhile, Food and Agriculture Organization representative Dr. Cedric Lazarus uh, pledged the organization's support in aiding the Caribbean to increase food production, thereby lessening its food import bill. We have to start to grow our own food. And I'm here to say that the FAO is partnering, partnering with St. Vincent and the Grenadines to help them to build a sustainable food system that we can grow our own food in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, on the other Caribbean islands as well, and we can sell and trade between ourselves rather than sending the money out to North America or out to Europe. And the Minister of Agriculture, Saboto Caesar, said the month of November will see new measures taken by his ministry to ensure food security. Minister Caesar said his ministry stands committed in ensuring that food is readily available to feed the population. We are going to play a critical role as a nation within the hemisphere to ensure that food is secured for the people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. We are going to ensure that the period 2014-2015 that we take the opportunities ahead of us and we harness all our resources in the fisheries subsector to ensure that we meet the demands from St. Vincent and the Grenadines in the markets in the United States of America. Chief Education Officer Luan Gilchrist is appealing to principals and the teachers here to ensure that their school feeding program is wholesome and nutritious, expressing concern with the number of children who choose to eat unhealthy food on a daily basis. Gilchrist says the school feeding program should be one avenue which provides healthy food for children. I know that some children don't like to eat, even parents with two children at home have trouble getting them to eat, but you have to make sure they eat little ones, please. Eat the meals at school. Don't go downtown and buy the sweet drinks and the, the blue sweets and the purple, purple things that you like to eat. Your nutrition is important. Eat well, you'll have bright shining eyes that will see well. Yes, and when you see well, you read well, you perform well in school. In other news now, the Financial Intelligence Unit, the FIU, and the National Prosecution Service, NPS, formerly the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions, have come in for high praises by their regional and international counterparts for the recent conviction of individuals for money laundering. The FIU and the NPS were nominated and have won the 2013 Indictment Prosecution Team of the Year Award. According to a media release, the FIU, headed by Grenville Williams, and the National Prosecution Services, headed by DPP Colin Williams, will receive the inaugural Prosecution Team of the Year Award for their coordinating approach in successfully securing the recent money laundering convictions. The Stephanie Brown Primary School in Union Island won the 2013 Scotiabank Rotaract Club Spelling Bee Competition. The finals of the competition, which were aired live on SBG television as earlier today, saw the school's representative, Anjali John, beating out seven other competitors for the top prize in the 15th annual primary school competition. The New Grounds Primary, represented by Aldia Jacobs, came in second, while the Leu Government School's Colville, Colville Millington placed third. The other competing schools were the Brighton Primary, Langley Park Government, Lodge Village Government, Maracua Government and the Rose Hall Government Schools. The competition is spearheaded by the Rotaract Club of Kingstown.